So this is going to be one of the most interesting product that I'm going to review this year. This is a smartwatch from a company called Mad Gaze. Now the whole idea started was there were rumor about Google uh, releasing a smartwatch that has a gesture control. In other words, if you move some of your fingers, you could adjust your volumes and etc. So I saw some of the clips and I also noticed there was this Soli chip that is some sort of like a radar that detects your hand gestures and etc. But since then, for a few years now, um, Google has gone quiet. They were yet to see any official uh, Google smartwatch to release. But on the contrast, a company called Mad Gaze managed to um, start a Kickstarter project where it's a smartwatch they, they got the smartwatch available for understanding more than 30 gesture controls. So I thought, well, this is brilliant. You know, if I can't get any Google smartwatch, why don't I get a Mad Gay smartwatch? And here I am. So very excited about this project. project and um, I uh, just want to see how well those gesture control functions and let you guys know as well. So let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. That's cool. <clears throat> Let's see if, how do you, oh, I see. Okay, so moment of truth. Mad gaze. Slides out. There we have it, people, there we have it. So that's the actual watch. Somehow you take it off. I think there's another strap there. Anyway, it's a bit chunky. It's chunky uh, and um, yeah, a bit plasticky, light compared to my Tag Heuer. So the strap itself is um, very rubbery. I don't understand. Oh, I see. So those for the uh, smaller wrist, you actually get a smaller extra um, wrist, which you could just take it off by pulling this out. We've got two different cables here for some reason. I think this is for the um, charging your um, smartwatch but this one seems to look like a shape of a sim card that has a USB I assume that you could program your USB by connecting on your uh, computer or maybe that's what it is I haven't seen I never seen such thing which is very interesting anyway this is the um, screen protection extra And that's about it. All right, so I got this, finally the Mad Gaze watch detected. Successfully connected. Next, personalized setup training. So let's get into the training itself, shall we? Okay, what is it trying to say? Repeat each hand gesture 10 times for higher accuracy. Okay, got it. Start. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. And that's interesting. Now tap on the right forearm. Start. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Interesting. Tap on the up of the hand. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> Okay, tap on the down hand back. Okay, start. One, two, four, five, six. It's amazing how it's detecting it. Okay, start. Left hand back. Right, okay. One, two, three. Interesting. How does it do it? Okay, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten. Now tap index and middle finger to thumb. Oh, this one is struggling a bit, but it's reading it. Come on, you can do it. One more. Good, okay. Snap your finger. <laughs> a 
Okay, so it's all set up. Well done. Get it done now. Allow. So as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty much a standard Google software that is installed. Um, so if you click on the screen, you can change different watch faces. So that's the first one. Well, actually just missed that the other one, but I'm sure we could go through that again. Yeah, they have cool watch faces here as a standard. Um, that's just dates and time. More like an iPhone kind of watch face. And this is more like a racing Carrera kind of type. And a um, bit more like G-Shock Casio kind of um, watch face as well. So they have quite a cool, uh, what's this? That's quite interesting. So it's like a note. That's nice. And I think that's the final one, isn't it? This is quite cool. I like this one. And you can add your picture as well. And um, if you look at the browser and all the whole thing, yeah, this is pretty much the Google software. Um, things that you could expect and uh, same time if you drag from top to bottom uh, slightly different than my tag but um, yeah and if you drag you could also check your health status as well so this is a health monitoring system that you got installed as well brilliant Right, so to start with, you make sure you um, scroll your screen to left to right and on the mad gaze controller you turn it on and make sure the detection mode is on as well. So that's on. Now if you go to the phone app itself, make sure it's all connected as well. So if you go to the gesture control settings, we got the system control where uh, generally what it is, is if you press that button, it goes to home and switch to normal mode is that button. Um, switch to shortcut mode, you can actually do that. And answer the phone call, you just need to uh, click and um, end the phone call, you just need to do that, basically. So uh, on the, um, the media control mode, we've got the volume up, which is you just press that button over there and volume down, that one. Um, previous button is, which is that one. And um, the next music or next video, which is that one. And um, to play and pause, which is that one as well. So let's quickly go through that one on my YouTube video, shall we? So the size of this, you can okay, see, so is almost volume same down. Pixel buds two. The width wise, it's thinner, clearly. It's and the thickness, recognizing it, but well, it's not it's really thinner than Pixel Buds two. So that's pretty impressive. Okay. It's very slow on responding it. Now let's just try to put the volume down a bit. Okay, so next video. Okay, now this is all over the place at the moment. So let's try to, I guess this is regain playing. Oh, recently, okay. out of the blue, as if they knew, a company called Acaso contacted me. Okay, that's very slow. I'm interested to review their product called the Keychain. So, uh, okay, so that's how it's responding. It's a bit slow, but um, let's put volume up. That's volume up, volume down. You can see the Mad Gaze watch is actually responding, is recognizing your some of your gestures here. So, hey guys, I'm Tech Chat. Okay. Um, okay. So let's go to previous. So that's working. So I think you've got to be a bit slow to your um, um just so you know this is not a 
So it's learning how quickly you press and respond. You gotta be a bit slow, I'm a bit too quick here. If um, I'm gonna be able to answer by my um, finger here, so here it goes, it's ringing. Oh, it's answered, okay, that's good. So if I wanna hang up, you just do. I say, well, goodbye, I love you. And this is supposed to end the call. Interesting. It's not. Oh, there we go. So that's how you end the call. So the responsive time, it works, but the responsive time, it's... You need to train yourself to get used to this, I guess. You control your cameras. If you want to take a photo, you just do that. And um, to take a video, record a video, you just do click. That's good because you don't want to secretly record something. Uh, so if someone knows that you're doing it. Switch camera, you just need to do the previous button here. So let's get into that, shall we? Make sure the uh, mad gaze watch is connected and then let's go to camera app. So we're going on to photo, let's take a photo. And come on. Nope, it's not taking it. What about video? It's not starting it. The default, well, it's recognizing it, yeah? But it's not recording it. That's very interesting. Is it because it's not connected? Because it gets locked out when I do that? I see, it's not connected. Now it gets connected. So somehow I need to get the camera it looks like I might have to install this, which I think there's some fee to pay monthly to enjoy it. Only one month free. So that's a bit of a disappointment. So regards to the design, it looks very familiar with Tag Warrior Connected, the third generation I have, but it's bigger and a bit more bulkier. But in the eyes, it doesn't really make a huge difference to be honest with you but yes yeah, certainly when you look in the front way it does um, but it's light and the strap and the frame itself the quality is a bit plasticky and light so i don't know how long this is gonna last and how well it can endure scratch but i don't have too much expectation the screen itself obviously is not sapphire glass so it's vulnerable for scratches so that's why it comes with the um, screen protection seal that I haven't actually applied. I'll see how it goes with that. But overall, my thoughts is that, yes, it does the work of what it said so, but it's a bit slow and I think you gotta train your brain to work with this, uh, the Mad Gay smartwatch. In other words, I think for me, I'm a very Russian person. I just want it done immediately and I tend to do, you know, be involved very quickly, but I think I need a bit of patience to understand when and how uh, such thing works because your brain needs to blend in together with the actual software to work together if you see what I mean now um, I was expecting a bit more smart integration but there was a lot of manual things I have to do so for example the time uh, was constantly on some other uh, zone time so I had to go into the time settings to manually turn it off to automatic settings and then change it to where I, I live and then put it back to automatic. So that took me a while to do so. Uh, the contact details, I didn't know that it, you have to actually manually unlock and then uh, instruct it to be connected to your smartphone to get all the contacts. So that I had to go through the settings, which, which was fine. But when it comes to smartwatch, I mean, I guess I'm still comparing to a very expensive smartwatch here but um, there was a lot of manual settings I need to go through and there were a few glitches that was happening all over but I was hope I'm actually hoping that it's actually I was trying it out during the process of this uh, blending in with the Bluetooth um, settings now um, I'm not sure I'm not I'm trying to log into my Google account with this uh, smartwatch clearly this is an Android Wear software but it sound, it feels like a very old uh, software because it's slow to respond and I can't even log into my um, Google account which is quite a surprising because it's actually saying that there's no connection so I set it up on the Wi-Fi still I cannot connect it um, the keyboard itself surprisingly is very comfortable to press um, I guess any other smart um, smartwatch screen with this size is very 
good to use but the crown itself even though it rotates when you actually press it or rotate it um, it doesn't really work it doesn't have, have any functions on the crown itself when you rotate it but pressing on the top it goes to the uh, unlock the, uh, unlocking the screen the crown on the bottom it just goes to back or normal button home button basically uh, so um, overall mm, it's it doesn't feel really good smartwatch but it comes with a unique function of gesture control which uh, again i like to highlight that you really need to train yourself your brain to blend in with this function um, i wish they could make some improvement i did check on this software it was the most up-to-date software but um, it's not as exactly how i expected it to be but it does have this new function of a smartwatch that not, none other function is available on the other smartwatch at the moment you know so it makes it unique so that's very good um, i don't understand why it's keep going on to this change the screen setting maybe i'm pressing it but anyway overall mm, i'm not too satisfied with it but i trust that mad gaze will be able to update the software so that the google android software will be more up to speed kind of feel i hope there's less glitch on it and also faster response with the gesture control will be hugely appreciated but we know that it works which is really good but then again here it goes it goes to this change the screen settings again which is i don't find it why this is happening at the moment but someone needs to tell me why but anyway i hope this video helped you understand what this mad gaze watch is so if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is lgb tech all the best Bye-bye.